and we're back. Um, yeah, this place is a shithole. So let's just try to figure out what's going on. Uh, the woman is probably in her 30s, but hard times have aged her. So she looks at you with concern. Don't do it, friends. Don't slot that, slot that director selling. BTLs are killers. Theirs most of all. Um, we're looking for a kid named Gino, you know him? Who doesn't? He's here all the time. Gino's a clocker. Trades his time for chips. Uh, like they're a little errand boy. I saw him go in there this morning. He hasn't come out. So I imagine he's riding a dream chip. Uh, do you have a pass uh, card to get in there? No, but Jamal has my son's card. Took it off his. Took it off him when his brain fried. Jamal's down the hall. Don't know if he'll give it up, but that's between you and him. Um, uh, let's ask her if uh, a little bit more, because she might give us a, a mission to sort of... Because I guess her son is dead now, um, but maybe there's something she needs from in there. No implant. Then her mouth tightens and her eyes will up in tears. I do. I know. Lost my husband. Lost my son. My daughter. They use her to record. Yeah. Time to end this place. What kind of guards do they have in this place? They're serious. This place is backed by the... Oh, fuck. Yakuza? That's not good. Japanese Mafia. Oh, man. How many and what kind of firepower? There's a guy on the door, Charlie. He sells the passes to get in. He's not tough, blind in one eye. Well, there's another five or so wandering around. Two of them are bad news, covered in magic symbols. Mean. Five or six? That's not so bad. We have a surprise on our side. Uh, any chip heads inside the lab? Yep, all day, all night. And they can be dangerous, too. Dangerous? When someone's chipped, they can send them any program they want. Make them do whatever. Turn them into whores, killers, anything. Alright, gotta go. So, I guess we're gonna have to try to avoid casualties of the chip heads, but in situations like these, um, when some problem needs to be solved, it is very unfortunate that uh, some people and other people get in the way, basically by making shitty choices um, but if at all possible um, we will try to avoid killing them and even save them if if we can Jamal mind if I have a look around Jamal Jam Jamal Jamal what you looking at um I heard, oh, never mind for now. I don't want to start shit with a guy with a gun right here. Let me talk to Charlie. Charlie's an orc with an expression of boredom and one milky eye. He drones through his standard patter. Need a pass 15 yen each, 150 for the lot of you. That'll let you come and go as you please. You can chip in there and we'll keep you safe while you ride. BTL chips are separate cost. Last about three hours. Prices vary by those inside. Sucker punch him in his blind eye. <laughs> I want to take a look around first. If the selection is good, we'll give you 200 on our way out. So, <clears throat> um, we're going to give him 200 uh, yen worth of rounds. Uh, it's not Nian, it's Nu Yen. Well, Nian, whatever. No, I just realized it. So anyway, um, we're going to go inside, we're going to kill everybody, shoot our way out, and then uh, that should do it. Let me ask him for his shit. Give it to me, fucker. This is the Baron's, oh my. Oh my. You want it, you take it. Oh, fuck. 
this is oh he's shooting at me now damn that's yeah that, this is what I was worried about but um, Um, I mean, I don't, I would have said it in a way that he wouldn't have heard it, <laughs> but, uh, let's see if we can just kill these guys. I already got injured pretty bad and I didn't save, so I'll, I'll just try to, try to work this out. So this guy, I don't think he's as dangerous as this guy. Ah! Ah. So we'll get rid of him first. Oh yeah, we, there's three of us. Shit. Can I shoot past... Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. So I, I rather... Um, we would have done this, oh shit, the other way around, but, oh, whatever. I think we'll get rid of him first. Dwarf muscle, elf muscle. Z's right there, but I think I need to move out of the way. And there's round five inside, so might as well get over here. And... I'll send him over there, smacking him up. I know it might be better to attack the same person, but I sort of want to spread out a little bit. And she's got a shell, so that should... Damn it. And she's got a pistol, too. Just to, sa just to save the... Uh, save the... Um, so I don't have to reload just in case there's like more and more coming out. Ah. Ah. Time for you to die. Hopefully. There we go. That's one round complete, but um... Pick up a worn and mangled notebook. It smells of uh, sweat and alcohol. Leaf through the notebook. The notebook contains lists of illegal uh, SimSense rides and the names of clients who have purchased them. All over interesting client names. Upon further examination, the client list is more than a simple list of names. It also contains private information about some of the more well-to-do or connected clientele. It may be that the syndicate behind this lab is directing certain clients here to secretly extract information from them while they are under the influence. The notebook is li likely worth something if you can sell it. Oh, well, I was just about to say, I, I, I sometimes act and think at the same time, so um, I was thinking, like, if I just leave it, then nobody will come after me. But if I take it, um, it's going to be clear... Uh, baby who took it and this might have some pretty severe uh, consequences later on but that's how it goes we're messing with the Yakuza and then we're messing with some very rich clientele although um, selling it to them might be a good idea because then uh, they'll give us money and although it's always like they'll give us money and then shoot us in the head because they don't want us knowing about it but um, either way we'll figure it out I'm sure we will caw caw to you too so over here I'm not sure if they're going to turn hostile immediately if they hurt the shootout over there or if it's just normal here gunshots but we'll, let's go in the entire floor of this tenement has been given over to a chaos of technology and squalor. Across the room, a chromed out Decker argues loudly with an armed thug, abruptly falling silent as they turn towards you. Oh shit, the shotgun wielding thug speaks in panic. It's the crew that took out Stevie J's place. I told you it was only a matter of time. Right, so there was no easy way 
to do this, I, I don't think. Uh, the man with the cyber deck calmly speaks with a heavily digitized voice. You mess with the wrong BTL lab, the whole. Uh, uh, this is a Yakuza operation. With the push of a button, I can make these tweakers into my own personal killer puppets. You're fragged. All right, well, let's hash it out. Law, don't attack any of the chip heads. They don't know what they're doing. And you could hurt Gino. Yeah, I can't promise none of them will die, but we'll do our my run, my rules. I have a concussion grenade. Better than fragging the tweakers if they get caught in the middle. Yeah, I have them too. Fucking douche. Alright. So there's a few of them coming in. <coughs> I have a concussion grenade as well, but I, I don't think I can throw it that far. No, I... Fuck, that's the one that I left out. Um, should have realized that when I started talking about these guys, but I think we might be able to uh, sort this out. 68% chiphead woman security, so there are more inclined to dodge, I would imagine. thinking of an action plan here. So if I run for cover and they're well they're gonna come and punch me or something, I'll just deal with them later. This is better. So two concussion grenades and I can't really throw them that far. Um, I think rather right now I should probably shoot that lady because she's already um, hurt. And there's a few more um, people that come in and I think like <clears throat> this guy, I don't know how much damage he's going to do but we're gonna have to move in anyway. Oh, well, she's injured still. Weird. She's got her shotgun, but the range is not good. Oh fuck, minus one AP. Shotguns are actually pretty good. I think it was like a special attack. I'm not sure though. Fuck. Shit, that's a sword. Ow. Ten per round. Oh shit, and I forgot to, um, <laughs> I forgot to use the, uh, 20 HP. I forgot to use the karma that I have stored up. Like, there's a lot of it. I'm sort of out of focus because this is also new to me. Um, let's see. Bodyguard, Shaman, Wind Dancer. I mean... Why can't I use them? I guess... Maybe I need throwing, like, at least one of it or something. Whoops. Oh, can I use the Karma now? I don't think I can. Like, I'm in combat. Huh. I guess I can. 21 karma. It's sort of difficult right now. I feel like I should keep increasing charisma because I, I want to... Um, I've used it now a few times, but I feel like it's been level 4 twice now, so uh, the next one's going to be like 6. So we might as well put some in, whoops, in that. And... Corporate Security Gang, Shadowrunner Street. Shadowrunner might not really give us that much, like, uh, or, I mean, it might give us a lot, but I, I don't see it giving us too much um, because we're sort of, uh, there might be some important Shadowrunner, but I don't see that being useful that often. Um, street might be good. 
but um, these feel sort of uh, something that I wouldn't know anything about, so I think I'll just take Shadowrunner in any case. Like I said, I'm not going to min-max this shit, I'm going to do it my way. So... I feel like maybe body, just giving us more health is good. And maybe dodge. Um, just throwing weapon, so... Putting one into that. One into dodge. One into body. And then we'll figure it out. Because we're still doing alright with uh, ranged combat, so we don't really need to increase it right now. But this uh, uses up everything, um, but it's fine, I think. Um, we're going to get hurt like 10 per round, I think, so... We kill that one person. This one is wounded, but I can't really hit them that well. I can't hit these guys either. Let's try hitting them and see what happens. Okay. So I've never tried that before. Maybe not the best time to start experimenting, but whatever. Oh, and he's got a new skill, it seems, right? So that got uh, rid of two uh, enemies. And now it's up to these guys, and this guy's close, so it's going to be a shotgun into the, uh... Hmm, what is this? Uh, does minus one AP, but reduces damage. Can reduce adjacent targets at ranges of six or greater. Can hit adjacent targets, right, at six or greater. Reduced accuracy. I think this might be good, because I want her not to be able to, um fire twice. I, I don't think I'll be able to kill them with one shot anyway, so... Alright. So I think they'll handle that one. I'll try to handle this one. The chip head man, he's like hiding behind there. So that's good. Um, so I think I'll handle this guy and I'll switch over to this one. Not doing any damage almost. And I don't know why I'm on this. Oh yeah, because I was sort of expecting the battle to go that way, but this would have been much better. Um, I'm not going to be able to kill them with one shot, so I'd rather see cover and then figure out what to do. Since I'm getting damaged, uh, she's also injured. I think we're going to have to get rid of this guy first. Out of ammo, shit. Can I whack her? Uh, not too good. And this one will finish her off, I would imagine. Yeah. Maybe should have saved it for him, but at least she, at least that one's dead now. So, shotgun is really fucking good. But yeah, I, I do enjoy the. What the fuck is it? Oh fuck! I do enjoy the uh, the karma system because uh, I can just switch to a shotgun. I think. And it's not gonna, it's gonna cost me like seven karma or something. No, six karma because I'm at level three now with the uh, range, so it's not actually that, it's not that bad. Um, not bad at all. And now I need to move on this side again, though. Um, I think I'm just. Shit. You finish him off. If you can. Oh my god. Oh lord. No. That's out of sight. And this guy needs to fucking die. I should have gone uh gonna get gone to get them as well. 
Damn it, I need to get closer. I think Paco can have a couple of tweak heads. Not sure how I can. Oh shit. So I think I'll actually, I'll try this now. Because, um, reloading and shooting, I don't think I would have killed him. And I think I th still have a couple of shots left. I think I might be able to hit him with one turn, maybe? Yeah, get another one. Get another one in there. And... It might hit those people. It's not going to kill them. I'll see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's totally uh, inaccurate. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Whoops. I'll, I'll try to shoot him from here because we can just dance around these guys, I think. Now I'll just go up close and personal. Oh shit, there's one more there. And definitely gonna get closer now. No cover from this, but whatever. Don't. Yeah, they suck. So we'll we'll be we'll be fine, I think. I'm sorry, my washing machine in the background. I think it might hurt. Man, getting hit with a baseball bat, he's still too much shit. I think I have a special skill too. I could have used. So, move closer, get to that uh, BTL computer, you can do it Paco, decking 3, forcibly end the puppet BTLs, um, I think if we get karma from this I might no, wait, I needed two. I needed seven karma to get the decking up. So, I don't want to force them out of it, really, because it might do something. I'll walk away from now. There's still someone back here. How's her decking, by the way? Can I see it somewhere? Or maybe, maybe it's like a general thing, perhaps? We'll see. But no one's no one's ordering them around, so I will reload both my weapons for now. Oh, I only had one. Reload everything. And move up. So who the fuck is that? I think that's uh, whatever his name was, some Italian. But let's see if she can access it. Whether she's better at decking, no. I guess we're gonna have to forcibly end it. Yeah, it took a little damage, so yeah, I understand it now. <laughs> Gino. Tweakers. They're fine. Okay, so I think we might have created more problems that I wanted. Because <laughs> um, I feel like there's nothing really to prepare me because I don't know the world or anything, but uh, this one was really a fuck up, basically. I'll go run around a little bit to see what's up. Oh, 
in there. Okay. Talk to Gino. You eject the uh, BTL Gino's been riding. He gasps suddenly and his eyes flutter open. He looks confused, worse than the other chip has you seen. His lips are white and chapped. His eyes sunk into his head. There's vomit on his shirt and sweat on his forehead. When he speaks, he sp his words are slurred. He's burnt. What the hell? You slotted me out? Who friggin' slotted me out? Gino, it's me. It's Carla. Slot me back in, goddammit. This is bullshit. I don't want to be here anymore. Slot me back in. He looks around the room angrily. His hand reaches for his implant. Coyote grabs his wrist, stops him. No, Gino. Yeah, Coyote, be careful. Gino wrenches his wrist from Coyote's grasp and he staggers back, reaches under his shirt and pulls out a gun. Coyote watches him horrified with tears in her eyes. Gino waves it around, blinking. Oh my god, we're gonna have to fucking shoot this guy. Um, Take it easy, Gino, we're backing off. What the hell is wrong with you people? Yeah, we're sort of trying to help, kinda. This is the way you help me? Look at this place, look at me. He looks around at the squalor of the room, then glimpses his own reflection in the machinery. Yeah, look at you. Uh, there are drugs that can help you, Gino. We can, uh, we can go slow. We'll go slow. He drops the gun, and Paco quickly scoops it up. Coyote grabs him fiercely. He slumps into her arms, and she rocks him over a long time, her head buried in her shoulder. When she looks up, she locks eyes with you, the deepest gratitude reflecting on her face. Yeah, I think we all did good, but I need to go, because I need to uh, see a certain shaman about some certain spirits. We're done here, I'm done. I don't need to step foot in one of these places ever again. Unless he uh, falls back into bad habits. Looking for trouble. Uh, Shannon's plan is the best lead you've got to find out more about the Repper, but getting back into the warehouse is going to require some support in case the Drek hits the fan. The Seamstress's union uh, will have exactly what you need, a fixer. Finding this, this necessary middleman and deal broker is key to most plans invol involving shadow runners. A good fixer is worth the new yen. yen. It's their job to have the contacts uh, and know who's good at what. They'll put together the team you need. Magical support, skill street samurai for muscle, or a Navahot decker for matrix work. Uh, running the shadows is a life and death gamble. It pays to hire the best shadow runners you can. Here I'm, I'm thinking I want to keep the money. I can fucking manage it and I can do it on my own. Probably can't. So we're going to need a crew. Uh, during my flags you uh, down as you walk through the hall, uh, through the door. Hey Law, there's a woman looking for you. Jessica something. She's waiting for you by the stage. Bellevue type. Wouldn't order anything, won't touch anything. I think she's afraid of diseases or something. Thanks, Cherry. No charge, chummer. Uh, why is the bar so empty? We don't get much action in the early afternoon. Just a few salarymen slumming tourists ago and hoping to talk to Madame uh, Sinful and some diehard regulars. Madam Sinful? That's what the down, downtown folks call uh, Mrs. Kubota. It's a touristville thing. They like her to have a naughty name like that. Naughty. Uh, move around. I just got in, but I think Coyote's cleaning the uh, back bar. Mr. Delida is hanging out in his usual place. The vendors downstairs came in a few minutes after me. Oh, and the Bartlett's here. Don't think you've met him yet. Who's Bartlett? John Bartlett. Big presence at the end of the bar. He's in the biz, connected. You might want to meet him. 
Uh, what about the other guys? Are you still bothering you? Me, my ex Shane. No, he hasn't been in since that last time. No calls or pages or handwritten notes either. Weird. He was so persistent. I, I guess he finally got the message. Maybe he'll find someone at the at that Universal Brotherhood of his and settle down. All right, whatever. I'm gonna have a look around. Have fun. Righty then. Bartlett is armed to the teeth. Um, I think uh, I think I'll have a look around and then leave it here. I'm very busy. You show me something worth my time or walk away. Oh yeah, it's in. So data from the NTSB. Renraku would pay to keep it quiet, and Ares would pay to know what it is. So I got 800 yen, new yen for something like that. I know it'll double dip on this one. Make it a thousand. As long as you keep bringing in stuff like this, sure. All right. Sell the other shit too. Juicy list of BTL clients straight from a Yakuza syndicate lab. Now this might not be a good idea, but I'll do it anyway. Gang. That's dangerous info. I'd rather not handle it. So how about 600? Uh, sure. As long as I don't have it. John Bartlett. Full of life with a quick smile, the man tilts his head and watches you approach. Hey guy, what's shaking? Um, whole lot of shaking going on. A little of this, a little of that. I hear that, Omaya. I might have something for you, if you got the new yen. Uh, I don't got time or money, chum, or maybe next time. Alright, tell me. You ever hear of the Nephilim Network? Of course you have. An in-the-know guy like you has to have heard of the premier Merc team out there. If you say so. We're a tight unit. We cost a bit more than the common rabble, but we're worth it. Okay. What just happened? Hope it's not like a... Game bacon, game breaking bug. Felt like that discussion was going somewhere, and then it just ended. <laughs> Jessica Watts. Well, well, well. At a glance, you can tell that Sam's sister Jessica is from a different world, the opposite of Sam in almost every way. Her suit is tailored, her eyes are sharp, and her style exudes authority. Miss Watts, Jessica Watts. Yes, and you are? Um, name's Law. I used to work with your brother, Sam. Uh, my friends call me Law, and I counted Sam among them. That's funny, I didn't think Sam had any friends. Friendship is defined a little differently in the shadow. <laughs> well, maybe form, former business partners, close to the truth. Uh, quality over quantity, I suppose. I'm sorry, it's just that it doesn't match with the picture of Sam I've had in my years all, uh, in my head all these years. So you're the one then, the one I was called about. A woman who called herself Coyote contacted me this morning to inform me that my brother was dead and that I should come to this place to speak to someone about an investigation. Um, that's right. And I'm hoping you can help me get to the bottom of this. I don't know what you saw me. So just a few questions and we'll see what's up. Alright, but you're not with the police, are you? Um, no, I'm not. Is that a problem? No, it's just that I don't want anyone else getting hurt on account of my brother. Surely, there is an official police investigation going on. Why not let the professionals handle this? <laughs> I'd say, um, I am the professional. Um, I think they can use all the help they can get. But you must have better things to do than waste your time searching for whoever killed my lowlife brother. We lowlifes have to stick together. Besides, I'm not doing it for free. With this kind of payday, 
First, Sam was my friend, and second, I'm being paid for my trouble. Man, I don't want to tell her that I'm being paid. Uh, but I have to. So I'm being uh, paid. Someone's paying you? I find it hard to believe anyone who really knew Sam would put up, put up the money. Who is it? Uh, I'm afraid that's on a need-to-know basis, but that's sort of... I'm looking for information, and then I won't give her any, but let's try it. This is ridiculous. He was my brother. And you seem real shaken up by his death. Well, fine, I'll pay you a hundred just to tell me. Done. Sam Watts. I don't understand. It's called a dead man switch. It triggered when he died. Um... Yeah, whatever. Am I to believe that my drunken sot of a brother hired you to find the person who killed him after he died? I left Seattle to get away from Sam and his bullshit. No, I'm back, he's dead, and I still have to deal with him. Well, he's dead, so he's not gonna bother you, you know. Just figure the shit out now, and you're done. Listen to me, Law. You seem like a decent person, but I'm trying to move on with my life. Our mother killed herself last year, and Sam was almost Sam. You know, I've worked so hard to put my family issues be issues behind me. I don't want to see this drag on. This drag on. Um, I would love nothing more than to give you closure and quickly. I appreciate that, but, but I think I'd prefer to just let it be. No one else needs to get hurt. So, clearly I guess she knows something. And uh, she's trying to keep it under wraps. On the streets, honor still means something. I'm sticking with the job. Um, your brother had my back when I needed him. I can't walk away from this. Are we talking about the same man? My brother was worthless, long worthless. He used people. He. Never mind. I can see that you are not going to let this go. And I respect that you are honoring my brother's memory in your own way. But I hope you can understand how emotional this is for me. Not really. Maybe you can do things in a way that police that the police can't. And maybe I can help. What do you need from me? So, I want to know the connection between uh, the death of the mother and the brother. So tell me about your mother and her death. You know, she was a devout Catholic. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that she sacrificed her life for Sam and me. <clears throat> but she turned a blind eye to what Sam was becoming, refused to acknowledge his downward slide. I couldn't watch her do it anymore, and so I moved out. After I left, we drifted farther and farther apart. I wasn't here when she died. In fact, I didn't even know about it until I returned to Seattle five months ago. Um... Where were you on the night of Sam's murder? I will overlook the implied accusation and tell you that I was at a fundraiser all evening. A very crowded fundraiser. I'm not, you know, whatever. Uh, when was the last time you saw or spoke to Sam? It's been ages, I can't even remember. Now, uh, the bartender recalls Sam complaining about arguments with his sister. Uh, there was a note on Sam's body, sounded like an apology, and offered to meet up and bury the hatchet. It was signed Jessica. I think I'll push it. I wrote many such notes in the beginning, but I haven't been I haven't made such an effort in a long time now. I don't know why he would have kept it. I don't remember what the note said exactly, but I think it had um It had something about, like, a, a recent sort of meeting. Uh, did Sam have any enemies? Sam's biggest enemy was Sam. I don't know any. Uh, I don't know of any others. You would likely know better than me these days. Were you and your brother close? I think I've made my feelings about Sam pretty clear, don't you? Um. You don't seem to care whether his killer faces justice. Of course I want justice, I just can't let him drag me down again. Show her the picture of her and Sam as children. Well, that's a bro. Brutal. Where'd you find this? Sam's bunk. 
heavily to kept this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it. Now that I started, I'm gonna push it. They look so much alike as kids and happy. They were twins, partners in crime, best friends. So what happened? Things were different back then. We were different. We were a family. And then after our father died, things began to change. We couldn't get back to a new normal. With our dad around, there was always a reassuring uh, order to our lives, but after everything got mixed up, you could never really appreciate the importance of a person in your life until they're gone. The remorse plays wet across her eyes, and it seems that she's not just talking about her father. Sam tried to be the man of the house. He truly did, but he couldn't handle it. And pretty soon he had uh, spent every dime of our father's life insurance. Every dime. After that was gone, with mom working two, three jobs, he spent all her money too. I couldn't stand the way he abused her trust, so finally I just had to leave. May I keep this? Um, please do. Thank you. Where were you living before you moved back here? Call free. Cal free? Maybe California free. What brought you down here? It was left for what brought me he, uh, brought, brought me there and what made me leave here. I felt lost in Seattle, so I moved to California to see if I could find myself. And did you? Actually, yes. When I was there, I developed a whole new outlook on life. A vision for what the world could become. And I came back here to help make it happen. Alright, take enough of your time. Thank you, Miss Watts. Just as well, I need to get back to the office. But before I go, you should know that I'm re in Terry, what? Reinterring my mother's uh, body tomorrow. I've never heard that word before. And I'm arranging to have Sam buried with her. The funeral is tomorrow at Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, 7 o'clock. You're uh, more than welcome to attend. Thanks. Goodbye, Law. I hope you find what you're looking for. Stay safe. So I guess it's tomorrow, uh, like today is tomorrow of yesterday, which means that the church thingy, uh, the religious goons are going to be having their meeting. It might be interesting just to go there and see what they're about, see the craziness. There might be some something too much to handle in there, but we'll see. Um, I leave it here. Uh, we're going to go talk uh, into the other room go into the other room and talk rather in the next episode <clears throat> finish this off and then we'll see what the um, what the remaining sort of puzzle pieces are that we need I think we might get them from the shaman but we'll see uh, in the next one